Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to even more of The Walking Dead. Now, the last episode, we finally reached Savannah, and it has been a wild, it's been a wild time since we showed up. So, not only is, did we uh, show up, and the, the guy on the radio who's been talking to Clementine, who apparently has her parents, um, is trying to seemingly help us it's been giving us heads up about stuff before it happens it's very strange um then there is also somebody running around ringing the bells around town calling all the dead to certain areas which we have we have learned uh is actually this seemingly nice person named molly um and she strategically rings the bells in the opposite parts of town that she needs to be in to get them to all migrate so that that one part of town she has to go to is empty. It's smart. It's pretty tactical. Now, uh, we came here looking for a boat. That was the main purpose, taking the train all the way out here. However, no boats at all. I mean, it was a far-fetched plan anyway, because, you know, being on the water, you would think that's the safest place, right? And... Like, a couple other people mentioned it in the comments, too, right? Like, they would... Other people would think the same thing. Especially the people that had boats. They would take their boat out. Right? Like, nobody would abandon their boat if they came to the conclusion that that was probably the safest thing. If you keep away from other people, nobody gets bit. This whole thing, you stay on a boat. Right? Um, but, yeah. So far, no boats, no go. Not great. We've been staying at a relatively large house that's big enough to kind of have all of us there for a while. We unfortunately learned the fate of the kid, of the family, in that house. We buried him. It's very sad. Now, <sighs> we learned big, a big thing is that there's this place called Crawford, which is a walled-off section of the city here in Savannah. Um, so a giant wall of walkers and some signposts and stuff. Now, that that is, that is apparently called Crawford. Molly was telling us basically everything about it. They're a very survival of the fittest society. They don't allow children or elderly or sick people. Why? Because they are all a weakness. They are all a liability. They are all something that will hold them back or get them killed in some way or seeing it as like a waste of resources like if they have to feed you know a sick person they're just give there's essentially in their mind probably they're just throwing away food at that point right so pretty much learning that entire wall of bodies a lot of them are those individuals it's pretty dark we haven't come across anybody from crawford as far as i know but they don't seem like a they don't seem great they don't seem like they're pretty great now we also came across chuck unfortunately he he didn't make it either he's down here he's down in the sewers he tried to hide out there walker's got him it's really it was really unfortunate we got separated. Kenny, Clementine, and Molly are together. They're running from the walkers. We unfortunately couldn't make the jump. So we uh, we climbed in the sewers. We went down. That's where we found Chuck. And now we've made it through the end, and we're in what looks like uh, a fallout shelter. I don't know if that's good. There could be people here. We don't know. But overall... Our arrival in Savannah has has been something else, <laughs> truly. And there's uh, there's still time because we don't know who the voice on the radio is, right? We don't know where Clementine's parents are, and there's many more factors in play now. <laughs> so, wonder if someone's living down here. I would assume so. I assume so with all these supplies, if they're still good. Look at all. 
It's enough to keep people alive for months. Ah, so it is it is still good. Damn. Okay. So then yeah. I thoroughly believe somebody would live here. I mean if it's not Molly, it's definitely somebody. Oh well, this is this is awkward. <laughs> Who um, are you? Only trouble. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere from else around, around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Jeez. Think, Vernon, what do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it, you're right. Talk about this. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. Now, I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Oh my god. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Jesus. Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. Yeah, can we all, like, chill? It's alright. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> We're just gonna keep that. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. Damn. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yes. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Walkers, we're looking for a boat. It's not important. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Oh, great. I'll be fine on my own. Can you show me the way back? Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Okay. We have medicine, uh... Look, I'm sorry Oof. if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Yes, no, oh god. No, she lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's alright, Bree. I had a daughter too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, God. Let's go. I hope so. Oh, no. Nothing better to happen to him, I swear to God. Oh, boy.
I mean, it makes sense some people from Crawford would try to get out. Clementine? Clem? Oh, that was... That was easy. Oh. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. So Who's casual. This? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> Where's Clementine? He's a doctor. What were you doing? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I appreciate. <laughs> I think you have something that belongs to me. That's right. I wasn't trying to dodge the question, but, you know, priorities. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Oh, great. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Oh, boy. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Okay, that's nice. Appreciate that. Oh, Mead, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Okay. That's fine. We can do that. We'll go somewhere else. Clementine. Clementine? Well, okay, I hope he'll be okay. You know, jumping on that train was like the worst thing that happened to him. Uh, Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Hmm. Oh. Clem, you in here? It would be weird if she was hiding, <laughs> but, uh... Clementine? Start getting concerned. Okay. Well, she left a drawing in here. Clem's drawing. Oh, no. But where is she? Uh... That's a moment. Damn. Because she... She briefly saw us, so it was like... Looking at it. She... I'll have time to rest later. She does draw a lot of things that she's seen. Like, she drew Kenny. Clementine, you here? Oh, she's gonna check everything, I guess. Clem? Like, I don't want to start getting worried. Time for that. I don't... I don't feel worried yet. Um. Hello? I'm confident she's here somewhere, right? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Right. I will. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Okay, because... Well, Clementine. When we uh, no sign of her in here. Not in this drawer. Um, when we went off to go look for the boat with Kenny, we we had uh, Clementine stay and had Ben be responsible for her, which 
I mean, hasn't really proved like a smart move. With how afraid Ben is of everything. But I have confidence that nothing happened. Don't see her out there. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Okay, well, we're gonna go Clem? to the... Clementine? Uh... uh. <laughs> Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. Okay, good. Everything's going great. I mean, it's going. Clementine! Come out, please. Kenny? Um, you all know where Clementine is? Hello. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Yep. Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since. Uh. Hey. Take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Oh boy. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? like Ben what are you doing um have either of you seen Clementine damned if I know gotta be around here somewhere Ben I gave you one job when I left here uh -huh. take care of Clementine then she shows up out on River Street looking for me what the hell happened hey don't put all that on me Omid took a turn for the worse and Krista asked me to help I'm sorry I'm doing the best I can here she was frantic and things got good enough. crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Ben, I swear to God. Clementine? Clementine! Okay, see, now I'm getting concerned. Before, I was just like, ah, you know, I'm just looking in the wrong places. Now. I was a little worried. I'm a little more worried. What the hell happened back here? Okay, she might be in here. Feel better about that. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Doors covered in lights. Don't think anyone came in through there. Uh, it is actually moving. Oh, oh my god. Me! Uh, everything's fine. I told you not to wander off. What are you doing in there? Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Just a relief. Really? What'd you find? Whoa. Well, that's unexpected. Hot damn. Holy shit. Whoa, this was in here the whole time? Holy shit. Swear. <laughs> yeah. Right. There just may be hope yet. All 
Now we just gotta get it down to the, uh, to the water. Somehow. This guy's gotta get back to his people, okay? Oof. How's Omi doing, Christian? You holding up? Can he tell you? <laughs> Uh, Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? I... I mean, true. Well, a lot of us, though. You want the good news or the bad news? Oh, shit. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Uh, let's search the streets. We just stay put. What about Crawford? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crap. Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? <sighs> oh god. Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Yes. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. Okay. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, oh it's decided then? We're going uh, to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Ben? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> so we're pulling off a heist. I told you to stay in your room. Oh. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. She heard everything. Yes, it'll be dangerous. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Same. No one else is gonna die. Neither do I. That could happen. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, 
Say what now? What? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Ah, shit. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Damn, that makes sense too. Uh... Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. You're right. I did say that. Can't I come with you? Oh, God. Shit. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yes, you can come. Obviously, I want to protect her. But maybe the best way to protect her is to keep her nearby. I don't know. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm going to go get ready. Uh, plus, we're a good team, damn it. <laughs> so. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Right? We're only trying to break into Crawford quietly and steal stuff and get out. Thanks. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's oh, up? Boy. I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Fucking knew Just it. giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. How? The more the better. We don't need her. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. <sighs> Shit. I had a feeling that, like, we got a lot of people. Hold up just a sec. In that boat. Ready? Mm. ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Damn right. Thanks, Ben. God, does that mean we're going to have to leave somebody behind if we take the boat? This oh, should be it. Great. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Yeah. <laughs> God. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be tense. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. Someone's gonna what? say. Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. Uh huh. I, think I see one over there by the door. That is not a. Okay. That doesn't look like Me a guard. He'll sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Oh, there's no. I mean, maybe he's just dirty. He probably is. That, uh... What the fuck? I fucking knew it. Oh my god. So the... 
it, it hit them too. They couldn't stay safe from it. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Well, this took, this took a turn. Our perfect survivor societies. All been turned. Ironic. Great. Fuck! Fuck! Yep. Do you think they saw us? Uh, I don't think so. Definitely no idea. I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. It didn't seem like any of them noticed what us. What the hell happened but... here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. <laughs> ben. No, this is uh, good. How is this good? He's right. We should leave now. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. <laughs> hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I mean, he's got I a agree. point. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Damn. Come on. I think I know which way to head. Right, yep, she knows the layout. I got a bad feeling about this. Ben, you got a bad feeling about a lot of things. However, you might not be wrong in this instance. Interesting. So they locked them in. Just keep moving. As long as we don't cause a stir, they won't get all crazy. Here. Be okay. Looks okay. Everybody in. Okay. Well. I will say it is better that they're not intelligent, sentient anymore. Figures. Just kick it in. Oh, well, they had a plan. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Ship. Hell if I know at this point. Here. Just give me a sec. Fuel, medicine, battery. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, cool. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Yep. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come <laughs> too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay, guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. 
Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Molly. What about me? Um, what can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving like me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, we were oh, supposed to stay okay. close. Was, uh... Back before you know it. Okay. Uh, every time with Ben. Okay, first off, that okay. Can we can we take a second and realize like Molly had like a she had she had like a take a second to answer that. Like yeah, it just makes sense, doesn't it? Suspicious, suspicious as hell. Ah, which makes me think she from Crawford. She been living here and she knew about this whole infection. It's a wild accusation, but, you know, mm, I don't know, I don't know. The Georgia state flag, a lot of history there, not that it matters much now, I guess. For now. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Okay, so we just gotta get to the maintenance shed, which is out the stairway. So we're here. So we can't get into the armory, but if we go out this way, down the hallway, Right. Out the stairwell. Boom. Playground. Maintenance shed. Easy. Right? They just go further down to the nurse's station right there. Super easy. You just go out this way. Fire escape. Boom. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Oh, these are all very easy. And if we're going to find medicine anywhere... That would be the place to look. Bree right. said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Super easy. Super easy plan. Hopscotch. Oh man. This rug. Takes me back. What else we got? Creepy. Uh, yeah. Strange choice of doll. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. True. Oh, good job, Ben. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? I agree. You're plenty useful. <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Oh, Since boy. I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. If you tell him, he will actually choose to leave you behind. Look, Ben, I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault? I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Ben. 
I wish it was simple. But like Kenny has going even... with that door. Slowly but surely. Kenny hasn't even fully dealt with it yet. And if he finds out and if his mind in any way connects you to that as the reason or agrees with you agrees with Ben that it's hits the reason Ben's gone I mean if he doesn't kill him he's definitely gonna leave him behind jeez looks like they have quite a system here Crawford's final solution this is the person conducting the search that makes sense yep day since outbreak number of number of illegible ineligible citizens found number of citizens brought to Crawford number of walkers found that is a hell of a system since why the, the letters were different they, they did seem like initials right but now we know what the numbers mean so they can actually track like where who they found and what they found in every location super efficient you okay Clem yeah this desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. So do I. I miss teaching. Really? Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Just like, deal. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? <sighs> See? Oh boy. You think so? I don't think so. Nobody knows. Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Hope. Most powerful thing we have. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. I know. Right? I'd be curious to see The Walking Dead, but taking place in other countries. That would be interesting. Just a bunch of paste. Just a bunch of paste. Don't eat it. Okay, I think we're good. We scouted out. Can't look at the board, right? No. Okay. Whew. All right. Check the map. We know where we're going. Welcome, Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Oh, good. Just what they need to. The principles of Crawford, all illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed to the council. <laughs> Children under 14 not admitted without authorization. Anyone asked to leave Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. Theft or looting within the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. Damn. So, you're 13 or younger. You have to get authorization to bring them in, which more than likely will be denied. Then, if you're asked to leave Crawford, you're not coming back. That's that's it. You're done. You get one shot. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? There, uh... Oh, that's to the playground. Okay, I'm not gonna do that yet. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Oh, it seems things probably definitely got out of hand. For them. Can't open it without the combination. Logan.
Ace Ginger Cola. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. True. Oh. Well, I guess we could talk to them first, right? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Good, 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 good. Just want to encourage the team. Make sure everyone's going okay. Oh yeah, the... Can't go that way. Well, I guess we're gonna go here. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't want to be suspicious of her, but Molly, I am. You out here? I have to be. <laughs> we know nothing about her. It is irresponsible. So going that way. To have any sort of blind trust. Right? I mean, if Ben has taught me anything, it's that. You know? Auto shop must be down this way. Hooters will be shot on sight. Can you stop? I really hate this. What are you doing, Molly? I swear to God. I... I don't want to be suspicious, but god damn, is she making me feel very suspicious. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Let's say, uh. well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Of course not. One, one quart of oil rations per Crawford citizen every three months. No exceptions. Make it last. Oof. All right. Molly. What the hell are you doing? Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. I don't trust it. I hate it. Better not get too close. All right. Best not. Okay. Damn it. Damn. It's jammed tight. Molly. I'm gonna need something to pry that door open. Whoa. Okay. Leave him! He's mine. What have you done? What are you doing? What were you doing up there? I think you got him. I think you got him. One more. Ugh, for luck. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did 
Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. This is this feels personal. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah. Convenient. That'll work. Shit. God damn it. Uh, crank it. Let's go. Come on. Oh shit. Okay. We gotta go, we gotta go. Get in get inside. Oh, of course he's still alive. Kick. I'm not gonna try to pull that thing back out. <laughs> Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay, good. I was gonna say that was my thinking. Safe. Something you need? Uh, so Crawford. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, nah, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. I'm not calling you a liar, but I'm also not calling you a truther. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Okay, I mean... Yeah. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. You know... Listen. It just... Mm, there's something you're not talking about. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Uh, nope. That's probably it right there, wasn't it? Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Oh, well, there's still time. Lights are on this one, so there might be a battery in there. That blinking must be an anti-theft oh. system. Yep. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Or bring it down to us. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Yeah, it probably wasn't a... It's probably pretty rough. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. No power. Classic. No power. It's locked. No way in. Classic. It's locked. Okay. Pry? Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Okay. Uh... Is there anything over here? Hello? Nothing? Okay. Can't really go that way. It's the only thing I could think of is to... Can I borrow your thing? Something you need? Yep. Can I borrow your hook? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. 
Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got Great. your promise now. Not a scratch. Oh, God. Okay. Not a scratch. Let's make sure to have not a scratch. Our, our, our honor is at risk. All right, all that hydraulic fluid. I did it. There we go. Whoa, whoa! Oh God! That's Damn probably it! Probably not good. No shit! Turn it off. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Uh. Still attached to the terminals. Okay. It's off. Have the been negative terminal off, still screwed on. So bold to just grab it with his bare hands. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. That thing is heavy. Okay, follow me. Okay. Sure. Move your ass. Uh, that's the plan. Oh, well, we gotta go. Shit. Great, uh, now what? Skyline. Yep. It's shut. Shoot it out. Oh. Yep. That makes sense. Okay, you're gonna help us, right? Right? Okay, cool. See? Cool. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Well, we don't have the hook, so can't really do that. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Uh, chicken? What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Oh, that was a lot of faith. Good God. Nobody calls us chicken. Hello? Oh, we're getting Come on. back inside. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm still not a uh, still not a hundred percent on the uh she's on the up and up. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, great. Well I guess we can go see how they're doing with the uh fire escape, right? I don't think we can actually go that way. Little help here! What? Oh my god. Holy shit. This was unexpected. Please do something! We got it! Break the door with something! Oh, there we go. Think that hold? Damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. <sighs> Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Okay. Well. You're back. Yeah, <laughs> and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. 
She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Yeah. I'm not thinking she'll run off with the battery. But I mean... Do we think she sh she wouldn't? That's the real question. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Right? So you're a cancer man. How long have you known Vernon about Crawford? I better be going. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Damn. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Damn. That sucks. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I mean, he seems like a good dude. Which is why I hope nothing happens to him. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Probably. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, you, you guys making it work? Over here? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> Yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Wasn't that like an hour ago? <laughs> Something like that? Like, come on. Alright, I guess we're gonna go... Help with the medicine. Okay. Well... That's just open the playground. No. Sounds like there's a shit ton of workers out there. It sounds like yeah, it looks like it too. You know? God damn. Shit. Whoa. Okay. That's different. <laughs> Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Shit. Right, is this a smart idea? I feel like it's not a smart idea. There's nothing else I can really do. easier than I thought it would be. Oh. Okay. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh, shit. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Go bust it open. Can we guess the combination? Where else could we look? There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. 
but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Oh boy. I really hope they wrote it down. That'd be the smart thing to do, right? For themselves. Because imagine if they forgot the code, right? Maybe we could look at one of the bodies. Maybe they got a note. I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to pick this up in the next episode. So thank you very so much for watching. More Walking Dead. Coming out quick. <laughs> Coming out soon. So let me know what you guys think about all this. This is, this is crazy. This whole high school. Uh, the whole Crawford got, they got infected. <laughs> like, they, they had this whole perfect society idea. They were like closed off from everything. They're like, we're never going to get infected. Anyone who could drag us down, get them out of here. So I can, I can see where she's coming from with like, you know, it being like poetic justice for everything that they've done. Now, I do agree. This is, is as dangerous as walkers are. It's definitely easier to deal with than if they were actually people because they would talk, think, be sneaky. <laughs> they would like be watching us from a distance. There'd be guards, you know, whereas this, they're just walking around. We just avoid them or we shoot them like real easy. We just got to not make a lot of noise. So let's see if we can find this password, to get the medicine. Hopefully Molly doesn't screw us over with the battery and, uh, get that boat figured out and then have to decide who doesn't get to come with us oh yeah which it seems like ben is gonna probably get himself into that position on his own just because he's trying to get on kenny's good side he's trying to talk to kenny get that i don't want to be like it's not like a friendship, but enough to where he can feel confident telling Kenny the whole thing that he's he feels guilty about. And I still don't think, even in the best case, Kenny's not going to take it very well. So we'll see. We'll see how all that goes. So know what you think of comments. Thank you again for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.